the big advantage. 77 inch reach for the truck, Eddie Gordon, who is the identical 35 years of age. Six feet tall is the truck, so we will find out just how this all plays out in two rounds of action right now. We send it in to Joe Martinez. And here we go, fight fans, our next bout tonight. Two rounds, this a quarterfinal in the middleweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a boxer sitting six feet even, weighing in officially 185 and one half pounds. His professional record, eight victories and six defeats. Here is the number three alternate middleweight from Freeport, New York, Eddie Truck Gordon! And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. A jiu-jitsu practitioner standing five feet, seven inches tall. He weighed in 184 and one half pounds and in 40 professional fights, has 26 victories and 14 defeats. He is the number six seeded middleweight from Boston, Massachusetts. Here is Doomsday, John Howard. And your referee in charge of the action is Kevin Mohawk. No, Eddie Gordon, the truck, better have a truck on gas because normally he's a diesel. He starts slow, <laughs> and this is very important that he goes yeah, fast in the first round. Correct. Yeah, he said that he is he was originally thinking that he would not be fighting John Howard, but here he is as an alternate making his way into the PFL for some life-changing money. So we will see if the truck can come forward and take care of Doomsday Howard here in two rounds of action. These guys have a, an opponent in common. They both fought Umlatov right. in the regular season. Howard with the rear naked choke of Umlatov and Eddie Gordon bested by Umlatov. Oh, for leg lock, knee bar. Diving for a leg lock here is John Howard. Look at that. He's close. If he can put it next to his head. That fence is getting can. away. Oh. Howard doing a nice job of bending it, go. getting out and scrambling. It's a nice attempt, though. Very smart also. Early in the round, no sweat. A lot you of saw traction. Lewis Taylor looking on. He would be the next opponent. Face off either Eddie Gordon or John Howard. Interesting is this side of the bracket, guys. It's all Americans. So at least one American will be in, in that final. middleweight final in New York City. Nice job there by Gordon, look at that. And Howard doing a nice job of scrambling and not letting him around the corner. Yep. Not letting him take his back. Just got that arm out in time and around his hips Ooh. to keep him from going behind him completely. Eddie Gordon bringing some big knees. Oh, he's got to start, he's got to keep on trucking now. John Howard looks like he is the one that's actually getting off to a slower start than normal. Red, red. Let's go, go. Push. Gordon with the underhook. Backs Howard up to the fence. Head position by Gordon. Ooh. John, John Howard, Howard thought about firing that big right hand and then pulled up. Both guys changed levels at the same time. Yeah. It's a good thing they can clash heads there. Nice yep. jab by Howard. Well, guys, true to his Gordon's word, Eddie attack. Gordon has come out a lot faster than we've seen in the past, and it's John Howard that's kind of in a slower mode right here. The turbocharged diesel. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Someone put some nitrous in the truck because he is moving. Halfway through round number one, this one's scheduled for two. Remember, the first round would be the tiebreaker if it goes to the draw, and Kevin Mulholland's seen enough of the clinch. He's going to put him back in the center. That's right. Going to connect full. Oh, oh, double jab, little cup yeah. check. Left kick by John Howard slides up and checks the cup of Eddie Gordon. Eddie Gordon was turning away. Watch this one more time, or you can look away if it's too much for you as he turns. Mm. Yep, never, never land right there. Oof, <laughs> yeah, from the back, even hurts more to just look at it. For those of you wondering at home, you uh, there is protection. This is this is not uh, there is protection in there. There is a cup. 
in place, but uh, both have been hit there once or twice inadvertently with the cup in place. It still is. It happens. You notice it. You know it, it happens. It's, yeah, it's accidental. They'll both get to France, so yeah. they're not going to do that on purpose. Trust me. You know, I don't have many friends that have kicked me there before, boss. So I'm just going to say. Well, I have a bunch of crazy friends. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can fix that later, Todd. Okay. John Howard <laughs> saying that's all good. He said it unintentional. So now Howard oh, letting the oh, fist wow. fly. Yeah, that's what I was thinking before because he's got so much power in his hands. Yeah. And I've seen it yet. And it's even better to set that up. Use your hands for a takedown setup. So John Howard taking that momentary break to regroup and redecide how his attack is going to be. He comes out letting the hands fly. Something we thought we'd see earlier on in this fight, but so far it has been Eddie Gordon being the more aggressive fighter. All right, both these guys have worked up a pretty good sweat here, guys, with just over 90 seconds to go here in round number one, so it's going to be a little more difficult to tie them up with a body lock or a choke. Nice low kick. And Howard. Gotta keep on doing that. Well, it's gotta stay on him. I think up until about a minute ago, I think he was oh, losing this round. Nice left hand by John Howard. Final minute. Howard in on the single leg, head inside single, trying to lift Gordon up. Nice puts him on the job. deck. Doomsday indeed. Nice scramble by Howard, or Gordon rather, to get right back to his feet. Another stalemate up against the cage as Kevin Mulholland, the referee, looking on. Wonder if he's going to step in and. Yeah, he'll go fast. He started before. Eddie Gordon with the head inside single now. Yep, there he is. So Gordon with the knees to the thigh of John Howard. And that wasn't enough action for Kevin Mulholm, so they separated him. And here we go now to the final 12 seconds. Another takedown take by Howard. So a nice way to finish the round for John Howard, guys, with that first 60 seconds. Maybe the first two minutes belong to Eddie Gordon. Yes, it, it makes it very difficult now for the judges to decide who won that first well, round. After the cup check, Howard comes out blazing yeah. and, and, and charges right back into the round. Here's that. Look at this. Look at the strength this takes. Head inside single, creates that swing, cradles him up Ooh. and puts him right on his back. So Eddie Gordon and John Howard there you see the cut on the head of John Howard as we check in with two time Olympic gold medalist Kayla Harrison. Thank you Todd I'm here in Gordon's corner and his coaches are urging him to please keep your hands up throw more combinations and get him back to the ground back to you Todd. All right thank you Kayla Howard landing six power shots to Eddie Gordon's two and landed two takedowns to Gordon's zero and guys we've seen this in the past when it comes down to it it seems like the takedowns really becomes the tipping factor and those last two takedowns were pretty pretty spectacular yeah. by John Emphatic Howard takedowns absolutely so here we go with the second and final round of this quarterfinal Eddie Gordon taking on John Howard with the winner moving on and Lewis Taylor waiting in the wings. Nice. Ah, that was hurt. You can hear that thud. That one's going to sting later. And Bosch, you've always said that that leg kick obviously is going to set up something down the line if he can continue to land that and bother Eddie Gordon. Yeah, movement, everything, you know. And especially, what, you know, what, what if Gordon will go through the second uh, fight? You know, if he wins this fight and goes to a second round, that's going to be, he's going to feel that leg. Yep. Eddie Gordon may need a stoppage here to get this victory. Yep. Depending on what the officials think. He hasn't had a stoppage though, guys, since 2014. That's not really his game. So the truck is going to have to land one of those big rights or lefts. John Howard, the shorter fighter, though, to stay out of range and not let Gordon have so much effectiveness with that jab. Body shot. Howard comes back with the right. Nice head left movement hook. by John yeah, Howard. Left hook. Slips and punches, slips and punches. Clean left hook, I love it. Here's the double leg attempt by Howard in deep on Gordon. Picks him up, puts him down. He did it more relaxed now, so he had more control once it went down. 
Well, he's in the guard as well. Made it look so easy the way he picked him up and didn't set him down so gently. Good, good, good. There you go. Keep pressing the foot. Pass him in the fence. Heavy. Heavy, good pressure, good pressure. Don't let him lose. Fire, fire, fire. Suck his hips out. Hips out. Suck his hips out. Gordon looking to wall walk, move up that fence, and find a way to get back to his feet. Boss was talking about sucking his hips out. They want him to obviously pull him, a, pull pull him, him away, away from the cage. From the fence, so back on his back. So Doomsday John Howard out of Boston, Massachusetts, going to work here with three minutes to go in this one. Remember, it's two rounds here in the quarterfinals with the winner moving on to the semifinals. The number two seed, Lewis Taylor, has already fought and won, and he sits and waits. Howard sitting in the half guard position. With Gordon's got the fence against his back, and the referee didn't like it. He's going to stand him back up. Kevin Mulholland has no patience for stalemates, and they are back to their feet, which has got to favor Eddie Gordon, but he's got to get going now. The truck, he's got to shift it into overdrive here. Nice head reach. movement by John Howard. Yeah, wrap it up. Eddie the Gordon the miss. Kick. Love it. Two body shots again. This time it was spleen left too. The other time was little little spleen left to the head. Double leg attempt by Eddie Gordon. Nice sprawl and change in angle by John Howard. Ooh. Yeah. Big miss. That was a big miss, yeah. Both these fighters, 35 years of age. In fact, John Howard said he's still got another five years in him because he was inspired by Randy Couture, who fought past 40. What are you doing, Randy? Setting the bar so high. What's wrong with you? Messing all these people up. <laughs> That's not right. Now Gordon letting the hands fly. Good head movement again by Howard. And coming back with that screen left hook. I love it. Right hook to the body, left hook to the head. Good power punches coming from both fighters. Man. Oh, this is the culmination of five months of hard work as the PFL started back in June. And now the opportunity to fight one more time and possibly go to New York City and fight for one million dollars. Under a minute to go. But you can't even think about what the winner of this fight's gonna have to do with Lewis Taylor nice. resting already, guys. They look gassed. You got potential three more rounds to come in probably less than two hours. Well, he's gonna have a second win yeah. going into that fight. Oh, oh, big right hand by John Howard. Yep. And Eddie Gordon goes down. Using his legs, still protecting himself. He's still in this fight. They look for the referee to step in here. Final 25 seconds. That could have been the shot that tilted the scale in John Howard's way as Eddie Gordon now holding on for dear life. Trying to get some points, firing off punches from his back. Final 10 seconds. And it ends as an all-out street ball in the nation's capital. Yep, it could be a 2017 or another one very close because it could have been a 10-8 round at the end now with the big drop. The big punch coming from Doomsday, John Howard in the last minute of this fight in the second round as he connects with Eddie Gordon and drops him, but unable to finish him. Let's take a look at us one more time as John Howard really let his hands fly, guys. Nice job of moving his head, making oh, that <coughs> low kick. Gordon miss. Non stop. Yeah, he was doing a great job moving and bobbing and weaving. And again, see that lip, the spleen shot with the left hook to the head, straight to the head, constantly connected. That jab was a very stiff jab. Nice right there. Right Ooh, hand, right was there was the one on the button. Give Eddie Gordon credit. Look at he tried to cradle up with his legs and keep John Howard. You wonder if John Howard would have stayed on the ground if he had more effective punching, been a little closer. It just seemed like he couldn't get into range when he got up. 
Wow, look at that. Yeah, that was a nice yeah. shot. Nice angle in slow motion. Great friends. <laughs> <laughs> so Doomsday, John Howard in the truck, Eddie Gordon. They go the two round distance as friends. And the decision is in. One of these men is moving on. For the word, we check in with Joe Martinez. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after two rounds, we go to the judges, and all three have it 2018 for your winner by unanimous decision. And moving on to the semifinals from Boston, Mass. Doomsday, John Howard! Let's take a look at the numbers on this one. Eddie Gordon throwing more punches, but you see the strikes landed in favor of John Howard, guys. And again, the big three takedowns to none for Howard. Yeah, he got really accurate with the striking, especially in round number two. He started connecting with everything. I love the two body shots, and they come on top with the hook to the head. Started slow, John Howard did. After the cup check, he came out strong, firing, moving his head well.